that guy's number. Taylor. Taylor, you want to sit here? Smile. 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 Such a fun day. Such a fun day. I keep on Then I turned it off. Hey, what's happening today? I'm getting baptized. Why? 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 Because public expression of faith. Awesome. Faith in what? Jesus. That he is God and came to earth to save us from our sins and died on a cross and was buried and rose again three days later and took all the weight of all of our sins so that we can be with him in heaven forever. That's good news, buddy. That's good news. <laughs> and uh, huh? just so you guys know, Why? Because we were lost in sin. Because we like in the unmowed areas, there's poison ivy oh. around the banks of the Cedar River here in Gladwin. Uh, you have just officially entered small town America. Um, and this site has become very dear to us as a family of Christians because we've been down here countless times in the last many, many years um, and enjoyed one of the happiest parts of our Christian experience together. And that is when an individual uh, who professes personal faith in Jesus and is taken up in life with the Lord they love, uh, desires to make that public and follow the instructions uh, of the one who came up with this idea, um, then we gather either in, in buildings with baptismals or lakes or rivers or wherever. And uh, our practice here uh, to date has been most of the time right here. Um, for the family of God. There's some confusion about this under the broader canopy of Christianity. Um, what's happening today is someone that's already entered this faith relationship, has understood the need for forgiveness of sin, recognized that Christ's death on the cross covered uh, his sins. And I'm not going to steal his thunder because he agreed to say a few things in terms of his personal testimony. Well, hello there. <laughs> How are you? Um, but this is such a happy thing. Pastorally, after 24 plus years, Baptisms and weddings are some of the happiest things. They just bring joy to all of our hearts in seeing, in this instance, someone desire to let the key people in their life know that life without Jesus is no life at all. Um, life before Jesus did not bring the purpose and meaning that this faith connection with the Lord brings, um, both in terms of peace on the inside uh, as well as a plan and uh, a future and a hope. So, truly, I'm happy. This guy has blessed us. He just mentioned to me this morning, tomorrow's a year and a month. Uh, Mike, Amy, Joe, and family, so grateful. I, I shared this I shared this with somebody. Um, when James and EJ left, uh, just, they were kind of really talking like, hey, we want to lean in and be a part of GCC more. <laughs> And then all of a sudden they're gone. Aww. It's like, Bro <laughs> Bro not, well, yeah. we, we bow the knee to these things. Uh -huh. Obviously, there's, uh, we truly worship and respect the one that is able to keep all of his kids headed in the right direction. Uh, anyway, so they're up north doing what God had called them to do. But we were wondering, okay, Lord, um, uh, this is one of the ministries that is important to you. Um, and um, immediately, <laughs> like awesome. almost immediately, uh, maybe it was noticeable because we were in dire need <laughs> of, of his particular gifts. <laughs> so he's working with uh, Adam and, and my wife and Dave, and it has just really enhanced our time together on Sunday morning. So having said that, Johnny, is there anything... Uh, Anything you wanted to say about your personal story and journey of faith with the Lord? Uh, sure. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. So I was saved really early. I was like three. 
and I was just up in my room playing with cars or trains or whatever it was and all of a sudden I was like wait what does it mean to be a Christian so I went downstairs and asked my mom and she explained it to me and just like the basic gospel and everything and then we were sitting on my staircase uh, and that was when I accepted Christ um, <coughs> and then when I was around six I was really wanting to get baptized um, and our church at the time had like scheduled dates they were like we'll do bat baptisms on these days and if you want to do it you go to this class and and they, like explain they explain everything like why you're being baptized and then you like read a thing in front of the church um, and so I wasn't really able to do that at six <laughs> uh, so that didn't happen quite then mm -hmm. um, so then later I had decided that I wanted to be baptized in my grandparents pond down in Ohio um, and every time we were there it was either like too cold or things and it kind of just like eventually slipped to the back of my mind and didn't think about it as much and then when we got here one of the times it was in the announcements and I was putting them into the computer and I was like why don't I just do this then that, that makes sense <laughs> so I was supposed to be baptized then in the beginning of July or the end of June or something and I was going to be out of town that weekend all of a sudden and so then I got moved back to the day that's pretty much it I don't think there was really much else. Now, now you get to be the one and only. So we're just all about you today, Johnny. <laughs> all about what God's doing in you. Uh -huh. Well, I have a special like connection with the September backup baptism date because the cold water really tests commitment. <laughs> so uh, glad you could participate with me in this. <laughs> let's uh, let's head down. <laughs> well, one of the perks of this is I actually learned how to spell Johnny's name correctly. Um, and having had the blessing of uh, partnering with you in the ministry that God has called us to, um, and based on your personal profession of faith in the Lord Jesus, as well as the evidence of the fruit of God's Spirit in your life, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost.